Hi watch friends, I'm Maggie and welcome back to my channel. I'm finally getting around to doing the second video of the night. Um, obviously it's now dark, we've pulled the blinds. I know the lighting is kind of sucky, but I just really want to get this done so I can get it put away. Um, this is my second spruce sampler that I ordered in October. I have been very not patiently <laughs> waiting for this. I just was so excited when it came and when it got here I had a house full of people. And I planned, well, I kind of thought about showing how well she packages and she just, her presentation is stunning. It's, it's great. But everybody was here and just kind of tore into it and everyone was smelling and, you know, that's okay. No big deal. Um, I'm sure a lot of other people have shown how beautiful her, her packaging is. Let me see what I got here. It's well done though. So in the package, I have good grief, Maggie. There was a little bell. Um, a candy cane. I've got here um, a business card. Erica and Slade Kane are the owners. This has all of her social media handles. She did include an invoice. Um, a thank you for supporting our small business card again with all the social media handles and then she included this uh, piece of paper that talks about um, how long to wait before you melt her wax uh, she likes to let it cure for a month from the pour date um, yeah so that's that's really nice so there were a bunch of goodies in here a bunch of fun stuff so the first thing Look at this little bag, this little pouch, it's adorbs. So inside this bag, there is a shot cup in Little Tree Cake, a nostalgic scent that brings out the kid in all of us. So, is this orange? Is this something orange? It smells sweet, sugar cookie, or buttercream, but I get an orange note. I get a citrus note. I don't know why, but I do. But it is, um, yeah, it is a really a, like a decadent cake or buttercream or something, but with a citrus. I get a citrus note. I don't know. It's kind of weird. That's me. Okay. So, the first thing in the sampler is this four-pack of these squares. This is Nutcrackers and Gnomes. Roasted chestnuts, pecans, marsala chai, brown sugar, and marshmallow fireside. Anything with marshmallow fireside, I am there for. A marsala chai is quite the hot oil lately. And this is just really warm. Mm, um, I definitely get the roasted chestnuts. I get that, I get that chai note and I get a really creamy, warm marshmallow. Her wax is super, super strong or super, super soft. And it's just always really nicely done. Oh yeah. Yeah. Think roasted chestnut with a kind of a ooey gooey sweet marshmallow. But there's a hint of that spicy chai note. So that is going to be a great time. Um, then I have Cozy Sugar Plum Dreams. Plum Vanilla Snowflake, Palo Santo, and Cashmere. And this is a star. Mm, this is good. This is a really sweet plum. This is, this is juicy. This is like a juicy plum to me. Um, not, not bakery plum though. But body care plum, but juicy and bright. Mm, that is a good plum, you guys. I think this plum with like a vanilla birch note would be heavenly. Really into vanilla birch lately. This is this is excellent. That is a fantastic plum. There is a 
here is a clamshell in Christmas morning cheer, espresso, eggnog, and gingerbread. Yeah, um, I, anyone who has had her coffee scents, her coffee scents are amazing. This espresso oil is really, really good. It's a really good one. You get, um, you definitely get the espresso. You get the spice from the gingerbread and then kind of that, that eggnoggy, almost kind of a little boozy, not real boozy, no. Just that, that sweet eggnog. This is excellent. I could smell her, her espresso oil all day long. Love that. Then we have this cute bunt in Elves in the Break Room. Peppermint mocha and hints of holiday treats. Look at those labels. Her labels are fantastic. Everything you need to know on those labels. Should have showed them all to you. This one, look at those elves. The little crazy elves upside down and sideways. I've, I've really smudged up the bags because like I said, these were opened multiple times with people here at my house. But I love these buns. Oh yeah, this is peppermint mocha. Peppermint mocha. Is there some, what else is in there? What is a hint of holiday treats? Um, I don't know. Is there a spice of some kind in there? With the peppermint mocha, is it gingerbread or? I don't know, it smells, it smells nice. It's a nice peppermint mocha. And maybe I'm reading into that. Maybe, no, I think that's a scent note. Hints of holiday tree, I think there's something else in there. Yeah, very good, very good. Okay, cranberry frostbite. Uh, cranberry, ginger ale, and a hint of winter woods. Now, I'm the fool who didn't get any of the ginger ale blends from the summer and everybody has raved and raved and raved. So this will be my first ginger ale, but I plan on getting some in the spring and summer. This is, this is a, an effervescent cranberry. Yeah, this is an, uh, an effervescent cranberry is what it sounds, bleh, smells like, I said tastes like. And a hint of winter woods. Okay, I mean, maybe, maybe. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe there is something else in there, but I really get just an effervescent type of cranberry smell. So that's going to be a lot of fun. Okay, we've got a set of pink lips here. Mrs. Claus Kiss. Mallow cream, winter breeze, hot cocoa, and pink sugar. Now, aren't those some notes? And Mrs. Claus puckering up there. Okay, so I get, this, is, this one is probably the lightest of all of them. So I get a hot cocoa and a sweetness almost, I almost might have said, is there a little cotton candy or something mixed with this? I don't know what winter breeze is. Is it like that cold air type of oil, that, that like snow oil? This smells nice. Like I said, this is, a, this is the lightest of everything so this one's interesting to me. I'm, I'm really interested to warm that and see what that comes out because I would have said, if I would have been smelling this with no notes, I would have said hot cocoa or chocolate. And I, I would have said maybe like cotton candy or something like that. But pink sugar is really sweet. So maybe, I don't know. Okay, tipsy gingerbread man. Gingerbread cookies, eggnog, and frosted sugar cookies. And this, these shapes are adorable. And this is gingerbread and eggnog, definitely. So, 
you know, I'm just smudging the hell out of things because, all right, there's a gingerbread man. And these are big. And that's a lot of wax right there. It's a gingerbread man. And then a little gingerbread house. Matches my tree behind me. Yeah, this is this is really good. This is just a really, uh, it's a really bakery forward gingerbread cookie. Yeah, it's like it's like heavy. It's like a heavy gingerbread cookie with the eggnog. Ooh, that smelled good right there. Yeah, this one's gonna be fantastic. Cannot wait to start melting some gingerbread. I have a ton of gingerbread wax. I kind of went a little, little ham on the gingerbread. Home for the holidays. Hey Santa, layered with milk and cookies. Okay, and this is a mini loaf. Um, I know what milk and cookies is. I don't know what Hey Santa is. But I would say it's a tree blend. Oh, okay, yeah, so definitely milk and cookies on the underneath and tree on the top. I'm wondering spruce maybe or Fraser fir or something. That's going to be nice. Look at that. Yeah, that's going to be really nice. Okay, that is fun. I love tree and bakery, so... That's right up my alley. Ah, okay, Santa's beach party. And this is how it was packaged. So this is beach nights type, sugar cookies, mallow fireside, hints of pine boughs. Let's see, it's boughs, not bows. Pine boughs and roasted pine cones. It's funny, I mean, the kids had a um, conversation about that. Okay, so let's see. Oh, yeah. Look at this. Beach nights and pine cones. Uh, let me tell you, there is not much that doesn't, doesn't go with beach nights. You can mix just about anything. Bakery. Mm, obviously, pine cones. Um, I, had a, I had a beach nights and leaves blend. It's fantastic. Yeah, this is really, really good. Oh yeah. I'm telling you, you can really, you can take almost any oil and you can make it for any season. It's amazing what really goes together. I mix bakery with just about freaking everything. Trees, you know, patchouli, nag, everything. Anything with a little too much spice. That is a good one. That one is excellent. Okay, so then that we got this package and it says naughty or nice list. Are you on Santa's naughty or nice list this year? On December 24th, show us which list you are on by sharing your melt on the Facebook group or Instagram page. Naughty is the smoked eggnog um, scent shot. Nice is the candy cane cookies or a little of both this year. Blend away. How freaking fun is that? And in this, we get two scent shots. One in smoked eggnog, which was a hit. Yeah, this is, man, this is good. Eggnog, mallow fireside, and smoked vanilla. Oh, man, I love that smoky. The smoky with the sweet. Yes, love that. And then candy cane cookies, which is peppermint sticks and sugar cookies. Can't go wrong with peppermint and sugar cookies. Yeah, and that's really nice. This is a sweet peppermint. This is, I'll tell you, I, oh, it's peppermint sticks and sugar cookies. It's peppermint, it's not nose clearing. It To me, this is like a candied peppermint. This is good. I have a feeling I'm gonna be naughty because this is great. Okay, then, and I know she did this in her last sampler, which I did not get. 
but this is called Deck the Halls. Create your own holiday scent scene by creating a festive blend that evokes fond memories spent with those you love. And so you get this whole package and it's been taken out, so we destroyed it. It was put in there really pretty. So in here, you get a scoopable wax in Oh Christmas Tree, which is fresh fir tree with hints of holiday cheer. I didn't know she did scoopables. Yep, and that's just a really nice tree scent. Um, maybe with some spices. Maybe even some cranberry, maybe. Oh. So we have that. Oops. And then she sent these little scent shots. One in kettle corn garland. So this one... This one is, this one is like a, is a kettle corn. I struggle, that's my own thing. That's nice. I mean, it's nice. We'll see how I do with that. So you, the whole point is to take these and kind of mix them, mix and match and make your own. North Pole Winds, which is a cool minty breeze with vanilla. Yeah, now this is a stronger peppermint than the peppermint sticks, I think. I don't get the candiedness that I get in this one. That's nice. Really nice. Then we have some spiced cranberries. Ooh, that's a nice cranberry. Ooh, that's a really nice cranberry. Yeah, you definitely get the cinnamon in this cranberry, but I like this one. Just get that closed. Get in there. Oh, got it, I think. And then the last one, milk and cookies. Fantastic. This is our rich blend of sugar cookies, buttercream, and sweet milk. Mm, it's a nice milk and cookies. Yeah, I love that sweet milk. I definitely get a lot of, I get a lot of the sweet milk in her milk and cookies. And then she also sent a little spoon chilla for your scoopable wax. So how fantastic is this? This is so fun. I'm not, I'm not really a sampler person because a lot of times samplers, the samples are too small. This, I will go for this every time. So I am sold on her samplers, definitely. I think this is amazing. The scents are all fantastic. They're all good Christmas scents. Something for everyone. You can't beat the packaging, the originality, the extras, just the funness that comes with this. This is a top-notch sampler. This is, I mean, I don't, I don't know what you could say bad about this. This is, this is a, this is a top-notch sampler. I am thoroughly impressed and can't wait till the next one. So everyone, thanks for um, hanging out with me on Sunday night. I am going to upload this video and finish watching some Deadwood and probably turn in early because I'm a little, little tired because I haven't done anything all day. So everyone, um, hope you have a good week tomorrow and um, I'm sure I'll be seeing you. Thanks. Bye.